What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Timeless Adventures. So, last episode, we put together this amazing, amazing dome. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and take a look at the uh, the previous episode. Um, there was it, it was a 17-hour project in total to uh, put together this these amazing portals, and as well as the nice solid gold dome piece still don't have any beacons for it just yet but just look at this i get to fly i have i have the 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 honor of just every time i come to my base of just flying in and out of this massive pokeball <laughs> it kind of looks like a pokeball on the top and then we have a nice little smooth way of flying in here and my storage is over here so let me show you something real quick We got a nice, beautiful casing in here, everyone. Look at this. We got ourselves the nice nether brick. We got ourselves some, well, I, I don't know what these little edges, the trim is called. I don't know if there's a name for it, but we have that in here. I think it looks kind of cool. Um, We got the chain. We got the fire in here to make it, the Dragon Forge look more like fire. And then we have this nice bit of glass just so we can, uh, you know, nothing can get in there. Nothing can get out. Not that anything could get out, but you never know. Um, so far, I feel like it's not lit enough, but we uh, haven't had any issues so far. So I think I think we're good. I hear noises because there's mobs above me. And somehow I think there's mobs below me. When the world was loading in one time, I saw llamas down there like 20 blocks down there, below um, and zombies and skeletons. So something's going on there now we didn't do the back let me show you this this a beautiful beautiful handiwork i did i did absolutely nothing to seal this off um mainly because i uh well i don't have a uh a, a red stony way of checking my reserves this is how i check my my reserves and you'll notice that uh it's a little bit low because we've been doing a lot of stuff uh in between episodes i'll let you know in just a moment but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't currently have a way of knowing when I am low from a specific container. I don't think I will um, do that. I think we might just leave it as is and I'll just come in here and check on things. And if, you know, this is bug rock after all, if something does happen, um, I don't need to have, I don't want to have to go through a wall or put in a maintenance door. I just want to come back here. No one's going to come back here and see it. So it's okay. We can leave this open. And it's pretty much the same thing on the other side. So let me show you my uh my my nether bits real quick. So we got all that nether brick, nether brick, nether brick, and nether brick, nether brick, nether brick, nether brick, and uh nether brick. Also have a bunch of slabs in my inventory. We also have a bunch of bits down here in the forge. Uh, as we can see here, we got shulkers full of nether brick blocks. These aren't uh, nether brick blocks. These are just nether brick, which tells you I've been smelting a lot of nether rack. Now, where have I gotten all this nether rack? Let me show you. This also allows me to show you something else that I've done in the nether. So here we go. We're going to hop into this portal real quick and you'll see. Check this out. So I didn't do much yet. I did connect the portals since last episode. And uh, we have all of this for storage, specifically for our nether rack. Now, I've been doing a lot of digging. Like, this is all the loot that I found so far. Like, I've just, I haven't even tried to mine for ancient debris, but we have, what is that? Three nether, netherite ingots, and then we have a bunch of quartz and a little bit of gold. Um, but, so, why I have all of this here is, you notice we got ourselves a little tunnel. 
And uh, is it? We got, we got, no, that's empty. I emptied that one. We got another brick, more another brick, more another brick, and more another brick. All of this was pretty much from smelt, from mining out this tunnel. Now, this is a nether highway. Now, it's not complete, but this is pretty much the template. I wanted to get this going. Um, just so I have, I, I I tested it out in creative and then I just kind of did about, oh, 100 blocks out with this and it's looking good. And the idea is, is that so this highway is north of my north portal, right? That's my north portal. You'll see on the Z, we're going negative in numbers. That means we're going north, right? And we got, we're going to deal with the uh, spawn proofing in the future, but this is north of my portal right so this means that this goes west and east right so this is i opened this up in the map and this pretty much goes through a lot of stuff like nether fortress good amount of biomes um, a few good bastions and then i might do a north and south one on the west side once joker has his portal set up in his base so we might have like a a, a four-way intersection at some point right but essentially this glowstone while it looks cool it's also going to serve as a you know to let you know so say you're flying around and you see the glowstone a few blocks up you're like oh okay there's a portal coming up that way you know oh i need to turn here and this will be all hollowed out it's going to be the same as all this right and it's going to be all hold out. They're going to know, oh, I got to turn because there's a X person's portal or the portal to this farm or that farm. Because the point of this is, is to bring all of our builds and farms, the spawn bases, the witch farm, the 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 dungeons that I've jumped into for end busting. We want to connect all of it to this highway. This is just going to be a straight path. And we have these nice open spaces for flight. We have this for sprinting. We also have this for sprinting. And then we can also just slap a boat in here and just zoom off and travel hundreds of blocks within just a matter of seconds. So and then also I'm going to bring this out a bit just by one more, I think. To prevent ghasts from spawning. Currently, ghasts can still spawn, I think, right here. But I, I haven't seen any lately. If they do. We're just going to bring out the slabs a little bit more and maybe put some gold pressure plates. Oh, but this nether highway does not look very long. I don't think you've done that much work. Let me show you. You're probably wondering just how long this nether highway goes. Well, so here we are. Now, the lore behind this is that this has no beginning and it has no end. OK, so we're going to leave that there for future expansion to just kind of make that continue going and not the the other end because this has no end but technically there is an end point so right now um it looks pretty much the same um but so check this out look at my x we're at 774 okay now enjoy this little flight with me let's uh let's get over here so that's where it ends about almost 100 blocks and i have with my pickaxe just been mining and mining all of this and I, I didn't want to use TNT. I tried TNT at first and um, well, it just it just wasn't as, as easy to use. So as you can see, we're about to hit negative. And so with all the oh, there we go with all the netherrack that I've been mining out, we're at negative 15, negative 19. Um, I have mined all of this out over the course of like two, three days. And with all the netherrack I've been gathering, I've been throwing it into the Dragon Forge. And I've been using it to create the nether brick. So it makes sense if you are building a nether highway or some sort of nether hub in your world, in your base, wherever, um, that it, it makes sense if you have an industrial smelter at that point and you are going to use large amounts of resource, then it makes sense to use that nether rack, smelt it down into nether brick because, I mean, virtually we pretty much have an infinite supply of nether rack, right? So then just smelt it all down and it's a four one ratio. So four nether rack will produce one nether brick because it'll create those little ingot bricks. And then you uh, 
this has been the biggest problem. Um, and then you just kind of create your nether brick block that way. Now, the other problem, this is not a ma ma major problem, but I have had to deal with this. And uh, well, it's not too bad. We just kind of have a, it's an open floor plan right now, so it's OK. We'll get it. We'll get it patched up. And I think, honestly, I'm almost done. Like, believe it or not, uh, slapping the, the, the slabs down. Did not wasn't actually as an, much of an arduous task as I had expected. Um, it's just you just zone out and you just lay these slabs across. See, this is what I'm talking about. Ghasts spawning. This is what we don't want. And I know they spawn in a five by five by five. So if we cut this space a little bit more in half and pinch it with the slabs, that should prevent it. And if not, we're going to put some we're going to put some gold pressure plates because, well, one is a flex and two, it looks really good with on top of like, you know, blocks that are that have a black texture. So, yeah, what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to skip ahead and I'm going to finish. Where am I going? I'm going to go finish emptying out the space and make the tunnel a little bit more open. Well, now we're going to leave it like this. So as we put this whole thing together, we're going to leave this strip of this gap of three because this is where the ice is going to go. What? Let's put them out of their misery. So we have this gap of three which is where uh oh where the ice is going to go right and we're going to put that in at the very end of the of everything that's going to be the last thing that we put in before the wall after the walls after the roof after all that um because moving across this ice while placing in the roof is a pain i realize that with that smaller bit over there and we're just we're just not going to do that so what we have to do now is now that we have the floor for this section in, we, of course, got to clear this out, make it, you know, tidy, clean it up with the rest of the tunnel. And then we can put in the rest of the slabs for the floors. And then what we got to do, we got to. We got to take out this entire wall. Is that? Oh, 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 look at this. See, I'm finding this by accident. This is this is such a joy. OK, team, so we've got ourselves. Look at all this. Look at this nice, flyable spot. We're going to have to put it as we put in the floor. Of course, we're going to have to do the same thing that we did right here. We're going to have to take out that gas. Now we're just pretty much going to finish up the floor, I think. And it is finally done. Well, one part of it is finally done. We got the floor in everything but the ice. So now I've been clearing out the roof so we can put the roof in and I realize that it might be a bit of a challenge because of this drop down right here. So I think and also to help with spawn proofing, we're going to do switch the order of events. I think I might have enough gold to do the gold pressure plates because I'm just there's you, you can see the orbs and the drops everywhere. I'm just. It's just never ending. I just keep getting attacked. The ghasts are OK. It's the magma cubes that I have a problem with. And so what I'm going to do next is we're actually going to start from over here and we're going to get that strip of slabs going all the way from the very end all the way up to here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of spawn proofing first, I think, before we actually finish the tunnel itself. So we're going to fill this in all the way. And then I'm going to it, place down at least uh, one, maybe two. So coming in from this side, we're going to put one right here, uh, one right here. And then we have a space. Maybe a, a third strip right here. Maybe we'll start with the one down the middle of pressure plates to help spawn proof this area. So I think we're going to do those two things next before we put in the roof and the wall. Now, this is looking considerably better. Oh, did I miss a spot? No, oh, just got a little extra bit right. OK, so. This is looking much better, and if magma cubes spawn on that side, they can't interrupt me if I'm doing something on this side. 
and vice versa. And you know, now that I think about it, let me check that volume. There we go. Now that I think about it, I know I previously said that we were going to save finishing the floor last because it would be harder to do the roof. But with this right here, I could just get up on here and complete the middle strip of the roof that way. So we could probably go ahead and put the ice in and that way we could actually officially use the fast travel um, with its main function of using a boat on ice. So I think we're going to do that pretty soon i yeah 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 yeah. you know what you know what let's do it let's fill this up with ice and then we can work on so let's see we got to get the ice in and then we can finish up this roof and then we'll work on the walls it's gonna look really really good and then the longest part of this or at least the part that's gonna be the most annoying for me is i don't know if you noticed this small detail earlier but these lanterns specifically placed like every 10 blocks. Um, it's very even. And I think it, it, it it's a good it's a good look. I was thinking soul lanterns, but I uh, I wanted to try to use the regular lanterns this time. I think for another highway, it should probably have like a more neutral color, though. The soul fire is kind of like it gives it, at least for me, it gives me like a warped forest vibe. You notice these walls are flat, so we don't just carve out this wall. Check this out. We actually have to carve out this as well, because if you don't know, here's what happens. You see how it has that little extra little bit sticking out and we wouldn't have a nice smooth wall if we did that. See, see how it'll just do that. If I just uh, let's, let's take away some, some bits right here. You see, you see how it just kind of pops out a bit. We don't want that. It doesn't it doesn't look good. I want a nice smooth wall so to make sure that happens we actually have to cut out more than you'd think that way we have that nice smooth texture okay well we have floor we have the top or the slabs to you know secure us if we run as well as kind of keep mobs away from us let's go ahead and test this out so we're here at negative 19 and we're going to go to about 767. Let's see how long it takes for us to get there. And uh, here we go. Oh, it's a little unstable. And let's see if we can try this again. If I just go pull, push forward. Yeah, it kind of goes off crooked to the side. So unless we hold a straight course. Oh, there we go. Get into this flow of things. This isn't too bad. Might need to put some rails down. Especially when this happens, when the world, when we're going faster than the world can load. Yeah, I can't even see. We're, we're blind. Okay. <laughs> but we're almost back there and it's faster than flying. So this is going to be another option. I enjoy flying, but once we can stabilize this, it will be much faster. I think we need to put some railing in here and uh, put some stuff like right there. And then that should be do it. It's just a matter of having ways out whenever there is a portal nearby. So maybe put like a fence gate on there or something that 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 should do it. A fence gate. And then we'll put like a block of this wherever the portal is. But we don't have to worry about that right now, because currently this highway only connects my portal to nowhere. Actually, <laughs> absolutely nowhere. Um. It stops over there and at some point it's going to turn off to connect to the original portal from my base, uh, my spawn base. So we'll have to put something off to the side eventually. But for now, I think if we put some rails in, we'll have a much smoother flight or uh, sailing, whatever, whatever it is. Now, I'm not sure. We're just testing this out. But my question is, once we get this little piece here. My question is, if I put the walls on this strip, right, with on top of the nether brick and not the ice, if I collide with the wall, will I stop because I'm kind of hitting this little strip of non ice? Let's find out real quick. Nope. OK, that's good to know. That's good to know. That means we can we can have our full space of three 
for the ice. Oh, okay. Oh, this is this is actually I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner because uh well quite honestly, it looks cooler having this wall here. And what we can do is mm, put a torch here? Lighting, maybe. I don't know. Something. No, maybe some glass. Some decorative glass. Um, some some black stained glass. If it can fit. If it fills this slab and wall, because I know there's a little weird connective issues with the wall. Some things of the wa the wall still won't fully connect to. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm going to finish up this wall. All right, the walls are all in. Let's go ahead and give this a full test. So we're going to go all the way to the very end. Three, two, one. Good speed right now. We got the little safety barriers there. So we turn off slightly. We don't have to worry about having to readjust to avoid crashing. And we are going faster than it can load. There is a lot to travel through. And how much time do we got? Any second now. And boom. Nope. There we go. Look at that. I don't know what time that was. I'm going to put a little timer on there so you can see how fast that was. This. Oh, this might be a problem. This might be too. Uh, too low. Yeah, it's OK. It's OK. It's OK. As long as we're in here. Now, how are we going to get out is the question. So like I mentioned, I could probably have like a fence gate right there. Um, I don't want to put like, you know, a bit of, you know, a block there to slow us down. Um, because if you don't want to stop there, then you're just stopping and having to go over a, you know, non ice block. I feel like that could get annoying. So maybe we'll open up a little section. There'll be lights. There'll just be a fence so you know that it's coming up. You'll have to get out of the boat. And wow, that travels pretty far. You'll have to get out of the boat and maybe break it. It's a little inconvenient, but. I mean, it's a trade off. I think it's fair. I will have to I'll have to come up with something. Um, You know, it's a trade off going that fast. There we go. And perfect traveling that fast, you know, covering that much land. I it's uh, you just you just you got to do a little. The landing is just a little odd, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So as you can see, I've been a little busy and it has been all oh, this. This overall, by the time I'm done with this, I will have used an entire shulker box, an entire shulker box, 27 stacks of gold blocks, not ingots, blocks, 27 stacks of gold blocks to make all of these pressure plates. I've already got that entire side done, and now I'm just doing this one. And the purpose is, is that we're going to spawn proof. Um, in hindsight, there were a couple designs that I a couple design strategies that I could have done differently, like I could have raised this half a block lower and raise that half a block higher to account for the uh, the basalt so it doesn't look uneven on, uh, you know, this one versus the top one. I could have done that and uh, well, not this time because I'm not about to tear up this entire floor just so I could do that in the future. If I ever do another another highway um, in a different playthrough or something like that, then, then that's something that we can consider. And in case you were wondering, so I used more than a shulker box full of gold blocks. I already used a whole shulker box and then I used up. This was completely full. Um, so just to get an idea of how much gold this was, this was a very, very expensive bridge. <laughs> um, and every time we expand this highway out, I'm going to have to use more and more of this. I have been AFKing like crazy at the gold farm. So it's a slowly I'm, I'm developing a good amount of gold over time, but then I end up using all of it at once, just like when I did that gold piece on the top of my my gold, my my glass dome. So, yeah, yeah, it's expensive, but it looks good and it serves a purpose. It serves an amazing purpose. Listen to the clicky clicky. OK, let's get back to work. You know, actually, after thinking about it, I see that we we, we keep getting piglins and it's bothering me because I don't want any hostile mob spawning here. So I did a little research and I tried pressure plates to put on here to help spawn proof. We can't use ice boating doesn't work. I tried string. Turns out that uh, mobs can spawn in string. I did a little bit more investigation and 
they someone said rails and it doesn't interfere with ice boating, which is weird, but it works. So I have to make a bunch of rails and we're just going to rail this entire path. Um, and that way we'll be able to go super speed while also making sure that no mobs are going to be spawning on our road. So let's go back to the overworld. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to bring back. Uh, let's see how many how many did it take? It takes about the oh, about an inventory and a half. So let's just say two shulker boxes full of rails. Luckily, I have a lot of iron saved up. I never would have thought two things. First, that I would ever make this many rails at one time. And then I never would have thought that I would use this many rails for something that I'm not even going to be riding on. There's no mine carts involved in this. I'm simply using this to spawn proof a ice boat path. I never would have thought in my entire time of playing this game that I would ever have had to make rails <laughs> to spawn proof my boat. OK, let's go. OK, this is looking pretty mob proof. I think I've done it. So now let's go ahead and work on the roof. All right, team. Well, we have the roof. We have the lanterns perfectly placed all the way down to negative 17, all the way up to this uh, 760 something. And then I went ahead after that is I just went ahead and I carved this out. So this is where we're going to put the basalt pillars and the walls. And then we carve out this little space to allow the walls to stay nice and smooth so they don't try to connect with whatever's touching them. So we have a nice, clean looking wall. So the next time you see this, we will have a fully complete tunnel in three, two, one. And here we go. Look at this, everybody. The Nether Highway is officially done, and I am so glad. Well, let me clarify. Let me clarify that it is done for now, because the, if we as we expand and, you know, have more farms or like points of interest, this highway is going to expand and go further down. Now, let me show you, for example, right here. So I had a little extra time. And so what I did before I before I hit record was I decided to have this turn. And this is a little tricky. We got some rails here. I wanted to try to make it like, you know, look good and not too sloppy. I couldn't get all of them to face the same direction because this and I, I just don't have the skill to figure that out. So I just kind of had it loop in like that and had the centerpiece go in a straight line. I think it's pretty cool. Um, And then we have the boats can easily. So the way it works is the boats are going to go zoom, zoom all the way. And if you or if you need to make a turn, just stay on the corner and it will it will cut you off like that. You see that as soon as I hit 50 on the X coordinate, it stops me. I will give you a little chance to do a little wiggle around and then zoom off you go again and You'll never crash into these. This is in case we're we're walking or flying. It's just to keep the airways open because it we're, we're prioritizing flight and then boats will come second. Walking will kind of come third um, because, well, this is a this is like game. We fly and uh, we, we swim sometimes as well. Now, as you just saw, I sometimes get some magma cream spawning or magma spawn. I have pressure plates. I have rails. Like none of this should be spawnable. But as you can see, we have some troublemakers over. There. So it's nothing too bad, but I just wish that it would work 100 percent, you know. But what's down here? Well, this is actually the portal to the very beginning of where we started this whole season. So I decided to make a nice little tunnel all the way to here and then we're not going to decorate it now. Um, but that is that is the portal at the very beginning. Um, that'll take us into my clock base. But we have a nice, a much nicer way in here than what we did in a previous episode where I just kind of made some uh, some haphazard ice path. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, that that's that's the highway, everybody. Everybody say hi to little Hamlet. He uh, he kind of just kind of hopped into the boat as I was testing everything out. And uh, well, little Hamlet is going to be pretty much our our uh our tour guide he is the uh who is it the virgil to our dante yeah 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 he's the virgil to our dante which is very fitting considering the dimension that we are in so i don't have to name him i just have to leave him in this boat he will not he's born he's also wearing armor and he's very well re he's ready for battle look at this guy he's got himself the crossbow he's got the golden armor um hamlet is ready for battle and he is a great tour just look at this little guy 
See, he's just chilling and he will help keep us safe as we travel through the Inferno. While most of this episode has been focused on the Nether Highway, we still have one more thing to do. We need to connect the Nether Highway to my portal. So as you can see here, we have this empty box with our North, East, South and West portals. Now, I had a plan. I remember, remember I told you I was going to carve out the corners and have them go into their respective directions. I realized it's much better if I have those rooms on the other sides of the portal. And then we're going to use these corners as part of the decoration. As I, I, I did a little work in creative. It looks beautiful. I cannot wait to show you all. We're going to get that put together pretty soon. We're going to do a little changing to the portals themselves. I, I, I thought of something kind of clever. I, I thought it was clever. It looks good. So, well, it's uh, we're, we're near the end. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to do another time lapse. So here we go. And would you just look at that, everyone? I am I'm a little surprised that I was able to put this together. I spent forever in my creative testing copy of this world, uh, you know, just trying to come up with a design. Further on in the season, we're going to, you know, we're going to carve this out. This is going to be like this massive ring, like I mentioned. We're going to we're going to have a storage set up for things that I want to bring into the overworld. And we're going to have the bartering hall. We, we, we got the nether base done. Now we just have to expand in future episodes. And we're going to have to connect up the Nether Highway to Joker's base once he has his portal set up. And that will be it, everyone. So, yeah, that, that was that was Timeless Adventures, everyone. Thank you all again so much for watching. Of course, I am Timeless Traveler. I hope you had fun watching this video and maybe learned something new and uh, about building and how to spawn proof some things. And I think little Hamlet enjoyed it, too. Look at, look at this little guy. He's so adorable. He is loving this boat and he is loving the build. But uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it too. Take care, have an amazing day, and we will both see you in the next episode.